kakosh kalabala kete bara regado shakat halabala kete bara ude regado shakat the spirit of god is the life that is present in the church that is why the church can easily shine the light there is a life in the church that is producing the light that life in the church is the spirit of god the spirit of the living god is the source of the light and the life that is present in the church so because you carry the life you can easily shine the light in this universe a church without the spirit of god is dead a congregation without the spirit of god is dead a believer without the spirit of the living god is dead spiritually so for you to be alive unto god in the realm of the spirit you need the spirit of god in you second chronicles chapter 15 verse 1 to 2 says and the spirit of god came upon azariah the son of Odid, and he went out to meet asa and said unto him hear ye me asa and all judah and benjamin the lord is with you why ye be with him and if ye seek him he will be fond of you but if ye forsake him he will forsake you the lord is with you so the spirit of the lord came upon nazariah the son of odid the spirit of god came upon him and he delivered the message of god unto asa you need the spirit of god to deliver the message of god to your generation without the spirit of god upon you you cannot preach the gospel of christ you cannot speak out the revelation knowledge of god you need the spirit of god to carry the word of god and to speak out the word of god in the old dispensation azariah the son of odet carried the spirit of god and he was able to transform his generation by the spirit of god hallelujah exodus chapter 31 verse 1 to 5 says and the lord spake unto moses saying see i have called by name bezalel the son of uri the son of all of the tribe of judah and i have filled him with the spirit of god i have filled him with the spirit of god so the spirit of god is the source of wisdom understanding and knowledge and all manner of workmanship so in that verse 3 it says and i have filled him with the spirit of god in wisdom and in understanding and in knowledge and in all manner of workmanship to devise cunning works to work in good and in silver and in brass and in cutting of stones to set them and in carving of timber to work in all manner of workmanship so god said unto moses i have feed him i have feed bezalel with the spirit of god with my spirit in wisdom and in understanding and in knowledge the spirit of god is the source of the wisdom the source of the understanding and the source of the knowledge that spirit is the source of all manner of workmanship without the spirit of god you cannot demonstrate the wisdom of god the knowledge of god and the understanding of god mind you man can get wisdom knowledge and understanding through the spirit of devil 
But here, the Spirit of God is the source of wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. The first thing that came upon Bezale is the Spirit of God. Then he received the wisdom of God, the understanding of God, and the knowledge of God. So the spirit that is present in you will determine the kind of knowledge you will have and the kind of wisdom you will demonstrate in your universe. If you carry the spirit of God, then you will demonstrate the wisdom, the understanding and the knowledge of God. If you carry the spirit of devil, then you will demonstrate the wisdom of demons, the understanding of demons and the knowledge of demons. But this great man called Bezale was able to demonstrate the mysteries of God by engaging the Spirit of God. Without the Spirit of God, you cannot demonstrate the knowledge, the wisdom, and the understanding of God. This man was able to rot all manner of workmanship. He was able to demonstrate all manner of workmanship by the Spirit of God upon him. So you can also demonstrate the same thing in this generation. You can manifest the same virtue and value in this generation by engaging the Spirit of God. The Spirit of God is the power that is present in the church. You need that Spirit to demonstrate all manner of workmanship in this generation also. You can receive the gift to do all things. The gift to do all things by engaging the power of the Spirit of God. Apostle Paul said, I can do all things through Christ which strengthens me. So there is a strength that is present in the church. And that strength is the Spirit of Christ, which is the Spirit of God. So by the help of this Spirit, you can create and innovate new things in your generation. You can create and innovate new things in your generation by the help of this spirit. Numbers chapter 24 verse 2 says, And Balaam lifted up his eyes, and he saw Israel abiding in his tent according to their tribes. And the spirit of God came upon him. The spirit of God came upon Balaam. His eyes was open. He lifted up his eyes and the Spirit of God came upon him. You need this Spirit to function in the realm of the prophetic. You need it to function in the realm of prophecy, in the prophetic atmosphere. 1 Samuel chapter 10 verse 10 to 11. Oh my God take over lord first samuel chapter 10 verse 10 to 11 says and when they came hither to the hill behold a company of prophets met him and the spirit of god came upon him and he prophesied among them and it came to pass when all that knew him before time saw that behold he prophesied among the prophets then the people said one to another what is this that is come unto the son of kish is saul also among the prophets saul came to the midst of the prophets he met a company of prophets he encountered a company of prophets and the spirit of god came upon saul and he prophesied among the prophets that means the atmosphere of god is contagious the spiritual atmosphere of the almighty god is contagious 
by the spirit of god you can connect with the atmosphere of god by the spirit of god you can connect with the atmosphere of the fivefold ministries by the spirit of god the spirit of god can connect you with the realm of the apostles and you will function in the office of the apostles that same spirit can connect you with the realm of the prophet and you will function in the office of the prophet that same spirit can connect you with the realm of the evangelist and you will function in the office of the evangelist you can also function in the office of the pastors and the teachers by the help of the spirit of god so the spirit will make you to manifest in different dimensions different dimensions of god's glory different dimensions of god's virtues you can easily manifest different virtues and glory of god by the help of the spirit of god so came in contact with a company of prophets and the spirit that was upon the prophets came upon him and he prophesied among them so the spirit of god by virtue of association can connect you with the atmosphere of the fathers and you can easily ride on the wings of the father by the spirit of the fathers the moment the spirit that is upon the fathers come upon you you will begin to function in the office of the fathers what qualifies you to become a father is the spirit that is upon the fathers then you can easily become a father in the kingdom of christ by the help of the spirit of god so saul by the help of the spirit of god prophesy at gibeah he prophesied at Gibeon by the help of the Spirit of God. First Samuel chapter 19, verse 20 says, And Saul sent messengers to take David. And when they saw the company of the prophets prophesying, and Samuel standing as appointed over them, the Spirit of God was upon the messengers of Saul and they also prophesied the spirit of god was upon the messengers of saul and the messengers of saul also prophesied in the midst of the prophets the messengers of saul which were servants of saul also prophesied so the spirit of god can also come upon servants and they will function in the office of sons that spirit can convert servants to sons there is no 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 discrep discrepancy in the operation and the manifestation of the spirit of god the spirit does not differentiate male from female the spirit does not differentiate the blacks from the whites the spirit does not differentiate men irrespective of their tribes their background their nations or their continents the spirit does not differentiate the moment the spirit of god comes upon a man the man begins to function in different atmosphere of god different atmosphere based on the manifestation of the spirit of god the spirit can make you to manifest different dimensions of god the spirit listen to me and get this the spirit of god can make you to manifest different dimensions of god in this earthly realm it is the spirit that will determine the dimension that you will manifest in this earthly realm So the spirit of god is powerful 
and that is the engine that is present in the church that is the engine spiritual machine that is present in the church second chronicles chapter 24 verse 20 says and the spirit of god came upon zechariah the son of jehoiada the priest we stood above the people and said unto them thus saith god thus saith god the spirit of god came upon zechariah the spirit of god came upon zechariah the son of jehoiada the priest so this spirit came upon the son of a priest so sons of priests can also come in contact with the spirit of god they can also cash the spirit of god in the realm of the spirit and begin to manifest the glory of god on it so also priests can cash the spirit of god and manifest the goodness of god in this earthly realm it takes the spirit of god to manifest the goodness of god you can manifest that goodness by the help of his spirit by the help of his spirit prophet ezekiel reveal unto us in ezekiel chapter 11 verse 24 ezekiel chapter 11 verse 24 it says afterwards the spirit took me up it took ezekiel up and brought me in a vision by the spirit of god into shadia to them of the captivity so the vision that i had seen the vision that i had seen went up from me the spirit of the lord took him up in a vision so you you need the spirit of god to receive the vision of god you need the spirit of god to see vision to receive vision and revelations of god to receive vision and revelations of nations and to receive solutions to the problem of humanity through the mystery of vision and revelation knowledge so it is the spirit of god that can give you the revelation knowledge that will deliver humanity from their problems the spirit will give you solution to generational and transgenerational problems through the mystery of vision through the mystery of vision it is the ministry of the holy spirit that gives us vision it is the ministry of the holy spirit that gives the church vision so for you to become a seer in this kingdom you need the spirit of god you can easily become a seer by the help of the spirit of god this same spirit came upon jesus in his earthly ministry and he became a seer in his generation he became a seer in his generation the generation of jesus is the church of god so i'm talking about this generation also this generation is part of the generation of christ because the generation of christ is the church of god hallelujah in the gospel of matthew chapter 3 verse 16 to 17 it says and jesus when he was baptized went up straight away out of the water and lo the heavens were opened unto him and he saw the spirit of god descending like a dove and lightning upon him the spirit of god descending like a dove and lightning upon him the heavens were open unto him without the heavens being open you cannot receive the spirit of god and that heavens were opened unto christ in his earthly ministry in verse 17 he says and lo a voice from heaven saying this is my beloved son in whom i am well pleased the spirit of god came upon jesus before he received the voice from heaven 
the spirit of god came upon christ before he received the voice from heaven without the spirit of god you cannot hear the voice of god without the spirit of god listen to me please without the spirit of god in you you cannot pick the voice of god you cannot hear that voice because the mystery behind the voice of god is the spirit of god so the spirit will open our spiritual ears to pick the voice of god and it will open our spiritual eyes to see the things of god in the realm of the spirit at the baptism of jesus the spirit descended the spirit came mightily upon jesus and the voice came from heaven a voice came from heaven he was able to pick that voice by the help of the spirit of god that was upon him apostle paul revealed to us apostle paul revealed to us in first corinthians chapter 2 verse 11 say for what man knoweth the things of a man save the spirit of man which is in him even so the things of god knoweth no man but the spirit of god a man can know the things of man by the spirit of man but man can only understand the things of god by the spirit of god so you need the spirit of god to understand the things of god in verse 14 of first corinthians chapter 2 it says but the natural man receiveth not the things of the spirit of god for their foolishness unto him neither can he know them because they are spiritually discerned the things of god are spiritually discerned by the spirit of god the spirit of god will help you to discern the things of god it will help you the spirit will help you to pick the things of god and to understand the things of god so you can only put an end to your spiritual ignorance by the help of the spirit of god second corinthians chapter 3 verse 3 says for as much as ye are manifestly declared to be the epistle of christ minister to us written not with ink but with the spirit of the living god not in the tables of stone but in fleshly tables of the heart we are the written epistles of christ by the spirit of the living god that means the spirit of god is the spiritual pain that is present in the church the spirit of god is the spiritual pain that is present in the church the bible was compiled by the spirit of god only men of god speak as they were moved by the spirit of god the holy men of god are the holy men of old these holy men of old speak as they were moved by the spirit of god you have to be moved by the spirit of god that is where you can speak out the mysteries of god so the church represent the living and the walking epistle of christ we are the testimony of christ on it by the pen of christ that is in us the pen and the ink of christ that is in us is the spirit of the living god and this spirit is writing always in the fleshly tables of our heart is writing always in the tables of our heart the fleshy tables of our heart so we can carry the things of god and manifest the things of god by the help of the spirit of god that spirit is telling us always the things of god and how we can demonstrate the knowledge of god on it philippians chapter 3 verse 3 says for we are the circumcision 
which worship God in the spirit and rejoice in Christ Jesus and have no confidence in the flesh. We are the spiritual circumcision. Which worship God in the spirit. Which worship God in the spirit. We are not worshiping God in the flesh. We worship God in the spirit. Because God is his spirit. And they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. Man also is a spirit. He has a soul. And he occupies a body. So we can worship God in our spirit with the help of the holy spirit so our human spirit we worship god by the help of the spirit of god we can easily worship god by the help of the spirit of god so we are the kingdom worshipers because we worship god in the spirit not in the flesh So the Spirit of God will help us to worship God. The Spirit of God will show us the right path. And will help us to worship God in the right way. Not in the wrong way. Lord, take all the glory. Take all the glory, Lord. Take all the glory, Lord. First Peter chapter 4, verse 14. It says, if ye be reproached, for the name of Christ, happy are ye, for the spirit of glory and of God rested upon you. On their part he is even spoken of, but on your part he is glorified. On your part, Christ is glorified by the help of the spirit of glory and of God that is present on you. The spirit of glory and of God that is present upon you and present in you. So the spirit of God is the same as the spirit of glory. If you have the spirit of God in you, then you have the spirit of glory in you. You are to manifest different dimensions of God's glory. By the help of the Spirit of God that is present in you, you can easily shine the glory of God. By the help of the Spirit of God that is present in you, you have that Spirit. And you can easily manifest the power of that Spirit through the knowledge of Christ. Through the knowledge of Christ. The Spirit of God is in the church. And we have the power of God in us by the help of the Spirit of God through the mystery and the ministry of the Spirit of God we can easily manifest the power the authority and the dominion of Christ in this earthly realm hallelujah